You always forget things. Oh my god, stop. Seriously. Not oh, stop you guys. Welcome to Sarah's Slumber Party. I'm Sarah and this is my BFF Elizabeth. And that's Chloe. We have to invite her because our moms are friends. Konnichiwa. Anywho, tonight we're going to be talking all about the upcoming school dance. And what's the most important thing at these dances? The ritualistic bonding of adolescents in a school sanctioned setting. Nail polish! Oh, I love my fingers. You have like the best fingers. I wish I had your fingers. Oh my gosh, shut your mouth. Your fingers are like so perf. Opposable thumbs are what separate us from other animals. So, the key to having perfect nails is spending a ton of money on the best brands. There are very reasonably priced nail polish brands. They are just nails, after all. Hmm. Chloe, you're so practical. They aren't just nails, though. They are our one-way ticket to Compliment Town, and we want to be the queens of Compliment Town. Uh, towns do not have queens. Towns have mayors. Anywho, it is, like, so super crazy important to look fabulous from head to toe. So first, we're gonna start by cleaning our nails with some nail polish remover. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> this smells like it's bad for the environment. Next, I think we should pick out colors that best represent our personalities. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna choose bubblegum because I love bubblegum. Okay, but you cannot lick your nails this time. They don't taste like gum. Oh, I know. I'm gonna go with this classic red in honor of Tay Swift's amazing album, Red. I'm gonna choose a clear nail polish to accentuate my nails in natural state. Great, now that we all have our colors, let's apply. You see, the key to having perfect nails is to take your time and go from the pinky out. That way you can cover each nail perfectly while still being able to text a boy back at the same time. <gasps> Who do you wanna to go to the dance with? Uh, I really, really, really want Kurt to ask me. If he doesn't, I'm like, I'm gonna die. He's like totes perf. Uh, why don't you just ask him? Ew. Wait. What? On August 26th, 1920, the 19th Amendment allowed women's suffrage. I should think that in 2013 it would be acceptable to ask a boy to a school function. Yeah, but, um, I don't want to do any, like, a suffrage. Suffrage means the right to vote. Oh. Well, what if he says no? Rejection only makes you stronger. <gasps> That is so something like Beyonce would say. I don't know what a Beyonce is. <laughs> Good one, Chloe. You almost got us that time. Got you what? Looks like our nails are dry. Now we can go out and be queens. Bears. We will see you next time on Sarah's Slumber Party. Bye. Bye. I'm Sierra Brava, the host. You're the audience, and this is the funniest sketch show ever. Yeah. Dirt from Harry's style show! <laughs> and I was all like, smell you later, sucker. <laughs> Looks like the past is coming to us. Penny, my bride! <laughs> Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Step away from the futuristic orb. I take off the house from no man. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> take it easy, bro. 